What is up guys? It is Matt from Buckets and Boards. We have started day one of our brand new guitar build, guitar remodel, guitar repaint. We're going to do everything start to finish. Uh, I've already disassembled it and you're going to be along for the journey. I don't really even think I know what I'm doing. I might do some stuff wrong along the way. I might do some stuff really right. It might be really cool, but regardless, you're going to see it happen first and we're going to do it right now with Buckets and Boards. Booyah! What is up everybody? Welcome to my garage slash workshop area. Uh, this is where I do a lot of woodworking for my house. That is actually one of the hobbies that I love doing outside of buckets and boards is woodworking, building stuff. And that's why I am super duper excited about the project that we are doing right now. Um, we are going to take an old guitar and we are going to totally redo it. We're going to repaint it, remodel it, re-everything. And uh, I've been watching a lot of videos recently on YouTube on people doing this, finding an old guitar uh, in their grandpa's basement or buying a really cheap one on eBay and basically trash to treasure and having something that they're really proud of. And that's what I want to do. And so a little backstory, Gareth and I were actually out on tour in October of 2015 in Concordia, Kansas. And these two super awesome dudes named Kenny and Ken, um, they ran our sound and our lights that night for our show. And they said, hey, we actually own a music shop. So tomorrow morning before you take off and you drive to your next town, why don't you come in and just kind of hang out for a minute? And we were obviously going to do that because we love music shops uh, and we could hang out there all day. And it was actually called uh, Tom's Music House in Concordia, Kansas. So we got there. We played with instruments. We actually stayed longer than we should have because uh, we had to drive a little quicker to our next event. <laughs> but they had these old PV Rockmasters hanging on the wall. Let's see if I can get this to focus a little bit. And so we played around with those for a little bit. And the guy said, you know what? Nobody's playing these. Nobody's looking at these. They're just sitting here gathering dust. What if we just give them to you as a present and a thanks for coming to Concordia? And we obviously said yes, because free instruments are amazing. Uh, the whole rest of the tour, we were fiddling with them and playing with them. And it's been in my basement for a little while. And I thought, you know what? I want to remodel that one as well. And I was actually so excited that I already took it apart. I have the X-Men model. Uh, Gareth has the Hulk model. And so... I forgot to get pictures of the beforehand. Oh, I'll post a picture down below, down below, just right now. I'll post a picture right now, and I'll put some background music, and you can see what it looked like. Uh, shout out to Kenny and Ken. All right, we're back. <laughs> so today, day one, here's what we're going to do. We are going to take this guitar body. Uh, we are going to strip it down. I bought a heat gun. We're going to try to get all this paint off, get it back down completely to the wood below hand, and so we can get it ready for primering and re-artwork. I was about to say re-upholstering, but that would be really weird to have a re-upholstered guitar. Ooh, maybe a full guitar covered in like a shag carpet. That'd be interesting. But today, that's what we're going to do. We're going to strip this down. We are going to sand it down. That's what's happening. Follow me in the journey. Let's do this. All right, well, I've done about an hour's worth of stuff so far, which it probably doesn't seem like that because I just did a time lapse. But I don't know how far I'm supposed to go down. Like, I'm, I'm taking off the top part of it, and then there's also, like, this undercoating of almost like a wood glue type thing, which is very bizarre. So I guess I'll just keep going down 
farther and farther and we'll see what happens. So uh, I'll keep working on this and we'll check back when I've got some more progress. So, all right. All right, I think I am getting it. Uh, I did take a little bit more off. It was a little, all that junk is on there. I don't know, it's, it's really hard to see. I wonder if you can. Finally getting down to the actual wood. Man, this is taking forever, which I figured it would. Also, another thing, if kids, if you are watching this, do not try this. Talk to your parents, have them help you. I'm using this heat gun right now. It is ridiculously hot. Uh, I do not want you to burn yourself. Uh, it's very dangerous, so. Don't try this without any parent supervision because they need to help you if you're going to do that. So, note to self. Anyway, uh, things are going good so far. I'm going to keep going. Here we go. Okay, that was crazy. So. I got to a certain extent where I, I got it mostly sanded down, but I realized all that under part was just a super thick layer of glue that was almost insane to get up. So I just kind of left it on there since uh, it wasn't really that big of a deal. So what I, what I kind of did um, was I just left the edges and just sanded it like crazy. So I used 120 grit just to make sure to get off all of the vinyl decal top part of it. And then I used a 320 grit, um, just a normal, really super fine uh, wood glue for that one. So we are almost at the point of putting on a primer and getting it ready to repaint. So, uh, yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> All right. Woo. What is up, everybody? It is day two. Uh, yesterday, I sanded everything down on the body and also the neck to make sure, or the headstock, I didn't sand out the neck, to make sure that everything was good to go ready for primering. But when I came back today, I found a couple issues. Um, there were some spots when I was using the heat gun to peel everything off that I held them on certain spots a little bit too long, and so they caused bubbles in those areas. And so today, basically what I had to do is I had to take a little um, X-Acto knife thingamajig and I had to scrape out those areas because I did not want to have bubbles in the body. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go in, we're going to fill them in a little bit with some wood glue and make sure everything is smooth and good to go because we don't want to have any of those issues uh, structurally when we're putting it together. So that's what's going to happen today just to make sure that it's all good to go. I didn't anticipate this step, but that's what happens when you really don't know what you're doing and uh, that's what makes it more fun. So let's do it. I'm trying to get it to where it is not going down in this already pre-drilled area because I don't want to have to take more wood glue out of there try to re-sand it. All right, now I'm going to fill in just a couple of the little areas on the body that have some little nicks and whatnot. We will let that sit and we will go from there. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video and hanging out with me. Uh, if you like this, feel free to go down below and hit the like button. Also hit subscribe down there as well. We're going to be coming out with a bunch of new videos here in the future. Obviously, I'm going to be finishing up this guitar right here. Ba bam uh, But we are also very super pumped about putting out some workshop slash tutorial videos. We're going to be teaching some body percussion, some tap dance, uh, introductory to percussion. We're going to be doing some beatbox. It's epic. So it's going to be a lot of fun. If you like this, if you like buckets and boards, come hang out with me. Come hang out with Gareth. We're going to have a lot of fun. See you around. 
Everybody, Air 5. <laughs> Booyah! Is this working? New camera? Am I too close? Back up. Let us begin. <laughs> Action. Of course my alarm clock would go off. Right when that happens. What is up guys, it is Matt here. Oh, why is this so hard now that I'm filming? Animal. 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 I play drums, yes. How many takes is this gonna happen? It's so many takes. There's an airplane flying over. The airplane's flying over. It might be really loud. Ladies and gentlemen, can you hear the airplane? It is so loud. And it's windy. I'm just wasting film now. I'm really excited about it. We're gonna make a bucket of a blah, 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 blah. garage slash workshop air guitar shop workshop area down in my basement. Basement. It down in my basement. Take seven. That bird is really loud. That bird is really loud out there. Um That bird is so loud. Go away, bird. It keeps getting louder. Yep, it's pretty loud. Maybe I will just be louder than that and it will be okay. We will see what happens. <laughs> Man, that is annoying. This is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Lots of takes. Poop. 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 Oh man, that was going so well. Oh man, why do I keep messing up? That bird came back. Stinking, stinking bird. I had to go chase that bird all the way down the street so it would stop squawking. Which is hilarious. We are on take 25 now. 